Russian Deputy Defense Minister Timur Ivanov has been arrested on suspicion of bribery, the country's investigative committee announced. Russian President Vladimir Putin and Defense Minister Sergei Shoigu have been briefed on the arrest, Kremlin spokesman Dmitry Peskov told the media earlier. Ivanov took part in an extended ministerial meeting led by Shoigu that included numerous senior Russian officials and top military commanders, while the committee effectively provided no details about the affair, it said that Ivanov is suspected of taking bribes on a large scale. According to the relevant clause in the Russian penal code cited by the committee, such bribes involve sums of at least 1 million rubles or over $10,500. If found guilty, Ivanov could face up to 15 years behind bars. Ivanov has been long involved in the country's energy and construction sectors and has worked at several high-profile state-owned companies. He led the military construction contractor Aberonstroy, a company whose primary purpose is building residential homes for servicemen, between 2013 and 2016. He was then appointed to his current post where he oversees military construction within the ministry. Several independent Russian media outlets have alleged that Ivanov and his family acquired vast wealth through kickbacks on contracts he agreed at the ministry. In December 2022, Navalny's team said they had obtained thousands of leaked emails from Ivanov's wife, Svetlana Maniovic, that showed a lavish lifestyle well beyond what his official salary could cover. They said she had spent hundreds of thousands of euros on luxury cars, jewelry, clothes, parties, and renting premium property and yachts in the south of France, some of the transactions were routed through third parties, including defense ministry contractors, it alleged. North Korean leader Kim Jong-un supervised salvo launches of the country's super-large multiple rocket launchers that simulated a nuclear counterattack against enemy targets. The report by North Korea's official Korean Central News Agency came a day after the South Korean and Japanese militaries detected the North firing what they suspected were multiple short-range ballistic missiles from a region near its capital, Pyongyang, toward its eastern seas. State media photos showed at least four rockets being fired from launch vehicles as Kim watched from an observation post. It said the rockets flew 352 kilometers before accurately hitting an island target and that the drill verified the reliability of the system of command, management, control and operation of the whole nuclear force. Kim said the exercise helped prepare North Korea's nuclear forces for their important mission of deterring a war and taking the initiative in a war. The Kim regime has tested a series of weapons in recent months, including long-range artillery that has the South Korean capital of Seoul within its range, a hypersonic glide vehicle, which in theory could carry a warhead past South Korean and U.S. air defenses, and an intercontinental ballistic missile that could reach the U.S. mainland. Since conducting its first nuclear test more than a decade ago, North Korea has advanced its weapons capabilities, with the ambition of miniaturizing a warhead so that it can fit on a long-range missile. Most of the U.S. military aid to Ukraine is already in Poland. This includes the Bradley Infantry Fighting Vehicle and other military equipment. This means that military aid will reach Ukraine sooner, recall, the House of Representatives has finally approved billions of dollars in new U.S. military aid for Ukraine to help combat Russia's invasion, the U.S. Senate is poised to vote on April 23 on a significant aid package for Ukraine. Following months of debate, the House of Representatives approved the assistance with broad bipartisan support, making the passage in the Senate almost certain Senate Majority Leader Chuck Schumer announced, the finish line is now in sight for the assistance package. The task before us is urgent. It is once again the Senate's turn to make history, said Senate Minority Leader Mitch McConnell, the final package, totaling $95 billion in military assistance to U.S. allies, includes funds for Israel and Taiwan alongside the $61 billion earmarked for Ukraine. President Joe Biden is expected to receive the bill for approval by the end of the week according to CNN, while American officials will not say so openly, a U.S. source familiar with the provision of military aid to Ukraine said much of it is already pre-positioned in storage facilities in Germany and Poland, which would obviously cut down on the amount of time needed to get it into Ukraine. The source also said artillery shells would be among the first materials moved forward once across the border, officials in Kiev will look to get it where it is needed as quickly as they can, but doing so will still present a considerable logistical challenge given the sheer quantity of material involved.